if you wanted a New Year's Eve solar bubble pop snap crackle, well, you got it. And if you wanted a New Year's Day comet, you got it. I aim to please, baby. I'm talking about Comet C 2022 E3 ZTF. Oh, wow. Zoom or whatever. Zoom the fudge. That don't make no sense. What better way to ring in 2023 than with an enchanting New Year's Eve comet? A New Year's Day comet. Comet Zoom the fudge is approaching Earth and it looks great through my 14.5 inch telescope. It'll be at perihelion on January 12th, the day that Mercury will go direct. Thank you, Jesus. I'm sorry, Mars will go direct. And it'll be closest to Earth on February 1st. And there's a chance it could hit uh, visible to the unaided. Ah. Congratulations to people who still have 2020 vision. All right. I know at times it may come off as a pillar of strength as your planetary defense commander. Holy smokes, I've had a rough week with Mars across from my sign and Sagittarius for four months and retrograde now, and then Mercury going retrograde in my rising moon sign of Capricorn. Dude, it is messing me up big time. All right, so I am I feel like I'm as humble as I could get, and I am super appreciative for you that you're out there even listening to me after all we've been through. Hey, guess what? Super red alert or orange alert or yellow alert or green alert, whatever alert you want, man. It's free country. Yeah, and um, this is for tomorrow. So Monday and Tuesday, you got severe weather to watch out for. So yeah, we just had our big freeze down. California got hit with uh, tons of rain, major flooding caused. And tomorrow and then Tuesday, we're going to be watching out for hail and tornadoes in the usual area that Mother Nature made Mother Nature easy for me to be saying. It's been picking on lately. California, been in the news that I just repeat myself. Jab boulders on I 50 near Kyber's blocking the westbound lane. I assume this is in California. Anyway, it's a giant boulder the size of a giant boulder. Messing up traffic. Lake Tahoe looking super fuzzy. And then, you know, below the thousands of feet, it's been looking super floody in some areas. And then California had another pretty decent sized earthquake, 30.6 kilometers deep, 5.4 southeast of Rio Del. That's like the reverse of Del Rio, Jack. One, this may not be the greatest door news video of all time, but please know that I appreciate you and I hope you have a super duper wonderful year ahead of you. But please remember society in every form and facet is teamwork. If you step out onto the highway and drive across thousands of people, or even if you go buy food somewhere, man, it, it's all teamwork. It's all interconnected. So let's do what we can to make life a little more fun. Hell, I'm a fat cigarette smoker. I could die in a day now. One of my goals this year is to get rid of my giant belly. That formed over the last three years. I didn't used to have it. Anywho, food has been my wife, my girlfriend, and my mistress. I guess I gotta break up and get a divorce with overeating. Whatever. This isn't about me. This is about how amazing and magic and cool the sun is. I love you, son. You're and so you got a lot going on in the sun right now. Anywho, I'm not talking well, and luckily I get to blame it on all the other factors in the universe that are conspiring to make me sound like a dipshit who doesn't know how to speak publicly to the risk management factorizations or whatever. This is a real weird setup. Super foggy down there. Floody over here. Foggy over there. And then it's like, oh my god, it's winter blizzards. And then still floody over here. With winter up here. And then more of the vampire fog over there. Strange. Wouldn't be surprised if we see a red bean of danger put in here before all said is done. Shreveport, Little Rock, Tyler, Longview, Boyser City. Talking to y'all. Then the day after that, oh, I clicked the wrong button. Forgive me, I said to myself. And then, is this Tuesday? Yeah, probably. Mississippi, Alabama, Tennessee. 
Louisiana, Florida. You guys should be impressed that I know my geography. Anyway, storminess. I had a super birthday, and then I had a super Christmas, and then it all fell apart. All right, it all put itself back together again. That's life. You got ups and you got downs. All right. And if you can, say a prayer for some of the loved ones in my family, if you could, please. It's causing me a little bit of stress anyway. Um, Heavy snow, heavy rain, freezing rain, sleet. You know I don't like sleet and ice. And then lots of severe weather with floods all over here. I mean, yeah, it's going to be a wild week, yo. It's going to be a wild, wild week of weather. There you go. Look at that. So this is the storm that hit California moving across the USA, turning into problems. And I don't know if you noticed that California fault has been pretty active the last few weeks. We need to keep our eye on that as well. Cool. You're cool. Did I mention? I super appreciate you. You're amazing. You are the buttercream of the crop, and this is over the next week. But yeah, you still got more storms coming in, and wave after wave after wave pattern. I'm talking to you, Southern, Central, and North California, and even on up into the mountains. And here's the thing, dude. From our vantage point, Mercury is literally going backwards in the sky, and Mars is literally going backwards in the sky. From its normal progression from Earth's vantage point. So it's always, I mean, it's a weird mix. Definitely be playing defense. Stay cool. Stay calm. Garner up as much patience and appreciation as you can over the next 10 days. Mars will go direct. And definitely around the 12th, expect some weird shit. And then I think on the 18th, Mercury will go direct. And then we can really start our new year. And then look for things to improve. All right. Stay cool. Have a great day. Happy New Year. And let's make the best of it with what we got where we're at. All right. Optimists, stay cool and unite. God bless everyone.